I'm Julie McIntyre, the Royal Correspondent for Royal Princess, and I'm here today to give you a sneak preview of all things Royal Princess. Okay, well here we are on the bridge of the Royal Princess, where we've heard the ship's horns and whistles for the first time by Captain Tony Draper. Hard to believe that where I'm standing at the moment will be the ultimate in luxury. This is the sanctuary. This is the private area for adults only. There'll be four VIP banners here. They'll be rentable from $130 per day. For that, you get a welcome drink on arrival. You get your own little fridge. You get a TV with headsets so you don't disturb anybody else. I think I'll definitely be booking to stay here. Just behind me, you can see the main pool area. The raised area will be available for sunbathing during the day. And in the evening before the movie is shown on the biggest screen at sea, there will be dancing fountains of light and water. Can't wait to see that. Just behind me, you can see the sea walk. This is one of Princess's latest innovations. It extends 130 foot above sea level and approximately 30 feet out to the side, actually further out than the bridge wings are. I dare to the sea walk, dare you. We're currently standing in Horizon Court. What's great about this is the fact that it can hold 1,500 people. What's also great about that is that it's not tables for eight or tables for ten, it's tables for two or tables for four. So you can sit here and enjoy yourselves, eat to your heart's content while watching the glorious view outside. As you can see here, just to the left, you can see the quality of the Horizon Court. What's also great about the Horizon Court is the tables are all going to be granite. Okay, we're currently studying another part of the Horizon Court. In the evenings, this area is going to be used for speciality dining. There's going to be a crab shack and also they'll be having fondue evenings here. Here we are in the Lotus Spa Fitness area. Just behind me is the aerobic studio where all the latest classes will be held as well as spinning classes. You won't see me in there. Just behind me is the basketball court. This is where you can shoot a few hoops with your friend. Around the outside edges, there'll be batting cages. And just to my left here, there'll be some laser shooting. And above me to the right, there'll be some golf. This is the Vista Lounge. It's going to be the secondary entertainment area next to the Princess Theatre. It'll hold approximately 320 people in here. As you can see, it's really coming along nicely. Just behind me to the left is the Princess Live Cafe. And just to the right of that is Princess Life. This is the first ever at sea. It's a live film studio where the cruise director will be interviewing some of the officers on board. There'll be culinary demonstrations, interviews, talks about destinations. It's going to be live entertainment from 8 a.m. in the morning till midnight. And don't forget Princess's new video on demand system where you can choose to watch where and when. We're now studying the Princess Theatre, which is a premier entertainment venue on board Princess Cruises. It can hold 1,000 passengers. What's great about the theatre is the architecture inside and the lighting. As you walk in, you're met by ceiling panels of blues, pinks and greens, and this can all be changed internally to suit the mood. This is Club Six. This is a nightclub on board the Royal Princess. The dance floor is just to my left, and quite cleverly, it's placed right next to the casino. I'm now stood on the top deck of the atrium. It's spread out over three tiers, and I have to say, wow. You'll have to see it for yourself. Here we are in the middle tier of the atrium, and where I'm stood at the moment is Bellini's bar, so cheers. What a great experience that was. What it really brings to light is how much work and dedication goes into the building of a cruise ship. I, for one, can't wait to see her when she comes over to Southampton. This is Julie McIntyre, Royal Correspondent, reporting for Princess Cruises.